In today's Leeds news, players out for the remainder of the season. Leeds interest in centre-back Spurs, I Leeds youth and Roberts move likely. Hiya folks, Jay here on Thursday the 28th of March with your Legion United News. Slightly later one today, apologies, a bit of a mad day. But we're going to crack on and get into this and we'll start off with some information around players that will be out of action for the remainder of this season. Yesterday, Daniel Farke in his press conference confirmed that Pascal Stroke has undergone grind surgery on what has been a problematic injury for him this season. As a result, Pascal will miss the remainder of this season which has been a big blow for him, but also a blow for Leeds. Pascal was excellent for Leeds in the first half of the season and was really looking to growing into the captaincy as well as a regular centre-back player. This will be a problem for Leeds potentially towards the end of the season. Leeds will now need to avoid any injuries to any of the centre-backs in order to manage the, the end of the campaign and, and try and get in a position where Leeds can get promoted automatically. So one to be mindful of and aware for Leeds and be very careful with this one. The other one that came out as well was confirmed yesterday by Leeds that Darko JB has also undergone groin surgery this week and he will miss the remainder of the season with Plymouth and returns to Leeds United cutting short his loan. Again a blow for JB because his loan at Plymouth was going incredibly well. He's been very very good for them this season playing as number 10 as well as a number 6 which is interesting and might give Daniel Farkas something to think about next season with the player. He's been called a standout player for Plymouth this season. He's been really, really impactful and it'll be a blow for Plymouth. Um, JB now returns to Leeds United for the remainder of this season and to undergo his rehab with the club. Moving on, let's talk about some interest, uh, some wild interest, I think, in a, in a potential signing for Leeds United. According to Dean Jones of Give Me Sport, Leeds are amongst a host of clubs who are interested in young Juventus centre-back Coney De Vinter. De Vinter transfer wouldn't be a straightforward one, though, as the player is currently on loan with Genoa and is one appearance away from triggering an automatic obligation to buy clause in the deal with Genoa. However, he does go on to say that Genoa could literally flip the player and sell him on straight away and make a small profit in doing so. There is interest from other lead clubs in England as well. Wolves, Leicester and West Ham are also said to be keeping an eye on the player and very interested in his talents. Jones went on to say the obligation makes the deal very difficult. It has been done before, but it would make any kind of a move difficult. De Vinter's 21 years of age, Belgian international. Now, he did make his full international debut for Belgium against Ireland last week. He has played at Empoli as well in Serie A on loan. He's only played two appearances for Juventus, but he's very young, 21 years of age. Would be maybe seen as a player down the road for Leeds, but one they're trying to get in early. But um, from what I saw of him against Ireland, he was decent. He was decent. Uh, but again, the Irish strike force aren't firing on all cylinders just at the moment. So I wouldn't judge him too well. But what I saw of him, I thought he, was, he looked decent. So maybe one to keep an eye on there and into the next couple of weeks. Uh, moving on to talk about some Leeds youth players and what is fast becoming the norm for Leeds United is academy projects being poached by other clubs in the Premier Division. Now the latest one is popped up. Finley Gorman has already left Leeds for Manchester City for what will become a record British £5 million fee for an academy prospect. Archie Gray and Harry Gray are consistently, consistently being linked with moves to Liverpool and to Manchester City. And now another one has popped up with Newcastle and Spurs keeping a very close eye on another Leeds Leeds Academy pro, uh, prospect. According to TalkSport, 16 year old Legion Knight midfielder Ollie Pickles has attracted interest from Newcastle and from Spurs. The report states that Pickles has been compared to Calvin Phillips in terms of his composure on the ball and his long and short range of passing. The claim says that club insiders at Legion Knight actually view Pickles as the next player likely to make the breakthrough into the first team and could be a player that is fast tracked into first team action. We've heard Daniel Farker recently talk about one of the younger players that's caught the eye and maybe looking at a move into the first team. We assume it's Charlie Crew at this point, but now seeing Oli Pickles mentioned and the fact that that one line from the club insiders that they reckon he will be fast-tracked into the first team, maybe it's Oli Pickles is the player that Leeds are keeping an eye on. Uh, in the report, it says Spurs and Newcastle are bo- have both been very impressed with what Pickles has done so far for the Legion Night Under-18s in their FA Youth Cup run, and they are keeping a close eye on the player. There is no real detail just yet on if any kind of a move has been planned or an approach has been made just yet by those two teams. Leeds will 
have to fight to keep some of the academy prospects. There's a lot of names currently. We did the stream with Jerry McDermott last week, and there are a lot of names in the hat that are starting to attract interest from other clubs. We've seen with Manchester City and other clubs in Germany as well who are looking at other English club academies to bring the players in at a relatively cheap fee now rather than wait until they're 21, 22 and have to get into a bidding war and potentially pay an awful lot more money down the road for these players. So it seems to be a tactic by a lot of clubs. Spurs, Newcastle now getting involved in this. From an FFP perspective, this player goes into the youth academy. So you can write that off then because they're a youth academy. It's development that that money goes into. So you can kind of write that fee off. It does benefit clubs in that way. But from a Leeds perspective, right now the academy seems to be doing a really, really good job. We're seeing some really talented young players start to emerge. Now, there's no guarantee they will they will turn into fully-fledged, talented professional footballers. That can A lot can change between the ages of 16 and 19. But the fact that we've got Charlie Crew, Archie Gray, Harry Gray, we talked about Marley Wilson this week as well. Freddie Lane, the lead Stephen McDonald. Um, there's loads. There's loads. There's loads. I'm missing loads of them, but there's tons of talented young players there right now. They're not all going to make it, but it's interesting to see, it again, the language that says pickups could be fast-tracked into the Legion United first team. So, one to keep an eye on. And then finally today, moving in, we briefly mentioned this yesterday, but a little bit more detail has come out about this. And there is now reports stating that Leeds United would be very keen on making Conor Roberts' loan move at the club from Burnley a permanent move into next season. According to Team Talk and Caught Offside, not the most reliable of sources. I get that and I take that. So I'm with you before you say anything on this. I'm really, I'm fully behind everyone on doubting this rumour, but we'll go with it for now anyway. And according to Team Talk and Caught Offside, Leeds are said to be interested in entering talks with Burnley as soon as possible, ideally within the next month, in order to turn Conor Roberts' loan move to Leeds United into a permanent one. He has impressed off the bench for Leeds this year. He did start the game against Chelsea and won league game and for me I thought he was excellent in those games I think he does give us a little bit more dynamism off the bench at times and a bit more of a, of a, of a forward push when we need it. a lot of energy he brings into the team he's been very very good for Leeds has had to settle for a bench position right now but Daniel Farrakh has been very impressed with the players attitude and training and the work ethic that he is putting in the player himself has said that he is keen to stay at Leeds if possible and he's viewing this as an opportunity to get in Daniel Farrakh's eyes and plans and hopefully force a move true the report claims that Leeds would like as I said to enter talks about getting the player on a permanent basis but they would like to speak to Burnley as soon as by the end of April the only potential issue with this is the fact that Burnley look increasingly likely that they're going to drop into the championship and because he's under contract he'll only have a year left on his contract after this year it is likely Burnley will want to keep the player in the championship he has been in the team of the year last year in the championship he's doing very well for Leeds at the moment albeit off the bench Burnley might want to have a player like that in their roster when it comes into the uh, championship season next year. So it might not necessarily all be in Leeds' hands. It might not be a clear cut as we hope it would be. But I've liked him. And even if he comes in as a secondary option at right back and Leeds going by another right back, it's it's important to get covering those positions as well. We've been so short with covering the right back and left back positions over the last couple of years. It'd be nice to have a bit of depth in those roles. Um, folks, that's going to be it for me today. Just not going to be a match preview this week. Um, stats are unavailable and I'm, I'm not really available this even either. So... There will be a match day review on Saturday. I will do on Saturday morning a review of the Watford game on Friday night. Hull is on Bank Holiday Monday. There will be a news on Monday morning. There might not be a news on Tuesday or review on Tuesday. I'm actually going to the whole game, so um, I'll be at that match. So I won't get a chance possibly to do a video on the Tuesday. I'll try and do something if I can, but um, keep an eye out for that anyway. More detail to come on that. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, uh, and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning for more Leeds news as we prepare to get back into championship actions. See you then.